right. Get the bug. This is the other sage. I'm the sage of computers. I grant you my token. Sage of brain and death. So there's an area later on called the maze of death. Um, that thing is a pain to explore. Does that give me more meat? No, still at 75. Don't know how I missed you there, fam, but let me come around and get you. Um, last time we were talking about potentially playing a game where you have like an evil Wayne, and that was interesting to be sure. Uh, why, why would you target him? Real dude. All right. I don't know if we're missing anything in here. Um, but let me see. The cup that was on here appears to be gone. But yeah, I'm excited for Hylix 3. Assuming that's what it's going to be. I actually... <laughs> this is kind of silly that I, that I did, but I named the... Um, the playlist that Hylix 1 and 2 are in, Mason Lindroth games. But I've actually only played Hylix 1 and 2 in them. I've even done Hylix 1, now this is my third time. <laughs> uh, I might even come back and do it a fourth time. Uh, I'll have something new there, but now I just, I really wanted to go back and play a new thing. Um, you can see by my behind surroundings and I've talked about this on the channel before. Oh, by the way, um, this isn't like replacing Castlevania. I'm going to come back and do more Castlevania later. Of that, you don't need to worry. Um, it's just that currently we've been doing a lot of... I want, I really wanted to record Hylix. I really wanted to do... Um, I wanted to get through more of Valkyria Chronicles, which might be done by now. I don't actually know. Um... <laughs> Um, but yeah, I really wanted to do all of those. Just you guys? Pity. Gotta do something about you going blind all the time, girl. Rut row. Datus Moln's dead again. If we die, whatever, because we can just dump more meat that way. But yeah, because we came from Samsnos' direction with all of the goodies, we shouldn't need to go back and put more stuff in. Why don't we actually... Let's play a little smarter here. Cool. Cool. You're tough. Damn. All right. Yeah, I really feel like there's a lot of stuff in this game that's almost an afterthought. Because, like, the way that um, money is distributed feels almost completely arbitrary, in fact. Near as I can tell, you can't blow up those bugs. That's a shame. We'll see if we can go and get the other bugs. I think they're down here. Nope. I kind of hate this place. Um, it's just one of the labor areas. Here it is. We need this TV, though. Right. Detonation. Cool. I feel like possibly we could have lessened the amount of stuff in here. I don't know if detonation is that useful when we also have all the other like spell equivalents to just dealing damage. Do I have a list of these? Wayne is feeling forbidden. Um, 
later on they actually give you this is just talking about the the strange the crazy money balancing again but later on they actually give you uh like a million dollars oh hey so we have all the party members and we're now exiting here properly for the first time which is what's happening here Wayne witnesses many spirits, though can he rescue the dirt? I assume that means he has many people in his party, but can he save the world? Below beings, rescue the shriveled vent, inside racing the engine. Meanwhile, at the moon palace, Gibby Blast, soon this augmented vent will be partially liquefied. For every feeling is a noisome ray, and every beast is like incomplete jelly. So now we're at Act 2. Yeah, that's just because we um, exited the world with uh, proper party members that time. There's a theory that this character, who, if you remember from the earlier episodes, is actually named Dracula. Um, though, again, we don't know that. It's just what he's called in the game files. But anyway, this character, theoretically named Dracula, may or may not be... Um... Yeah. Getting to bugs may or may not be pulling the strings and responsible for all the machinations of uh, the entire Hylix world, but hey, we started Act 4, though. Sorry, I was trying to see if that would be a good place to cut it. Boy, it might be... It might really hit the spot to go find out... to go grab all the paper cups, just because, like... Like I said, the double unlock is a little egregious. It's just a little irritating, you know, of like... Finding the items that allow you to progress. Coming in two parts. That's just... I don't know how to feel about that, you know? That's just one of those things where I'm like... Mm -hmm. Did the game need to be put together like this? And granted, this is an amateur effort. Um, though arguably, I guess it's not an amateur effort completely now. Because this is now at least partially a professional effort. Because Mason Lindroth was paid for this. Um, I don't mean to sound particularly vitriolic about it. I'm happy he's getting paid for it. Besides, this game's a steal and you should buy it. Even if you're watching me play it and you're watching my LP and you're like, this will be enough enjoyment for me, go buy it. It's on Itch.io. I... I don't think it's pay what you want. I think it's three bucks. Um, the Itch.io, I believe Itch.io kicks a little more to the developer. Um, so if you have the option to get something on Itch.io, then do so. But if you also, I understand that Itch.io is not like a perfect by any means, but if you also want the opportunity to have the game available on Steam, just because Steam is more convenient. Because I'll, I'll admit, Steam is so convenient. Like, I feel kind of bad to be engaging in a monopoly. I mean, like, but on the other hand, they're not making it easy for me to not, you know? I gotta play smarter here. One mo. Um, yeah, like, I don't mean to be engaging in monopolies here, but, like, the reason that Steam has a, a monopoly, a stranglehold even on the PC gaming world is because, like, it, it works, you know? Like, I don't really want to be using other things because they just don't work as well. They're not as good. <laughs> Epic Game Store is not as good, and it doesn't have as much stuff. Same deal for Itch. I'm like, that's a shame, because I don't want to have a, a thing where, like, this is just the best and only way to do this. Um, sorry, I got a news pop-up, so I got distracted, so I kind of threw this fight, don't mind me. Um. That's fine. In fact, that's, that's good. Because now we can turn in the meat. I believe we got the TV down here a couple of uh, episodes or two ago, so let's turn in that meat. Yeah, 83 meat. 
certified banger. Um, these are technically Act 2 things, so I think we use the yellow or the blue crystal. But we use the right side of it. Yes, this is correct. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I got a news pop, so I, I literally, like, <laughs> I basically, like, threw that fight. Sorry. Let's have you do a Dark Flame. Let's have you, you attack a mundane style. Getting a little horse, don't mind me. Um, but yeah, like, YouTube has awful policies, I'll happily admit it. But I continue to use YouTube for almost all of my video watching. And, of course, you're watching this on YouTube unless I've decided to upload it something else after the fact. Because, like, even though YouTube is crappy with how its policies are enforced and introduced and made and how the whole thing works and comes together, just... Ugh. It's still better than Twitch. And, like, Mixer killed itself. I don't even know if that stream still exists. The website that I think was called Livestream, I don't know what happened to that. Like, I would happily use something if I was given the, the opportunity to do so, but... Like... And the other problem is, like, because they keep shooting themselves in the foot, you know, other developers, other website makers keep screwing up. And they, they like, oh, yeah, we just spent, you know, a couple million dollars getting Ninja so we can have a streamer on our on our website. Oh, no, that, that overdrafted us, and now the website's bankrupt. Well, now all that money we spent was for nothing anyway. You know? God, I miss Mixer. Mixer wasn't even that good. They just weren't YouTube and they weren't Twitch. But yeah, it's a thing of like, if the other companies could stop screwing up, I think Dailymotion or Vimeo instituted a thing where like, you uh, you have to pay to host videos there and like, who in their right mind would ever do that? Why would you want to ever, ever pay in order to put videos on a website when YouTube is just free and all the other ones are free? Come on. Should be basic, right? And yet... Um, but yeah, like, if the other companies could stop shooting themselves in the foot and ruining their chances, then maybe we could have something where YouTube is like, oh, we might actually lose money and lose people here. Maybe we should try to implement more fair policies or do something that's not as crap, you know? But until that happens, we're just going to have to suffer. Guess we could maybe hope that somebody upstairs... I'm, and by that I mean somebody in the United States government can institute something about this, but who fucking, who knows? But yeah, it's just one of those things. It's a very strange feeling because, like, I'm not actually making money on YouTube. It's a hobby, it's fun, and I enjoy doing it, but I am not making money, but I know people who are. Um, and, like, just the concept that, like, the ecosystem is, like, surviving but at the same time like people feel like it could collapse overnight like that's weird let's do a calibration on Wayne um and yeah I, I worry for the people cause like they provide content they're making art they're having fun I feel like they should be allowed to do that and make money off of it. But the way that things are set up, that might not be the case, you know? And that's unfortunate. I think it would be great if it was easier for me to make money on YouTube, you know? Now I'm just complaining. <laughs> Don't mind me, everyone. Um, but yeah, more fair inclusion of policies, more fair implementation. Like, the way to reform it exists. It's not necessarily easy, and the problem is that toes would get stepped on in the in the process, but I digress. 